when you install the plugin and you have opened your Unreal Engine, the extension window will be placed up here. And when you select it, a window will appear and you can just dock it anywhere you want it. So for the optimization details, there is a triangle count selected. This triangle count selected will return the value of the currently selected actor for triangle count. Currently this cube is 48 triangles and this wooden board is 286. And if I select more than one, it's the sum of all actors that's currently being selected. For the total triangle count in level, it only shows the approximate value of the total triangles of all actors. This does not include stuff like uh, occlusion culling and other stuff. So the memory use section shows the current texture memory that's being used in the texture pool size limit that you have set. So right now it's about a thousand. If I were to reduce this to the limit of 300 MB, you can see that right now your texture streaming pool is over the budget. You can see 487 over 300. And if I were to allow it to be 3000, you can see the overall memory use increase and this increase as well. So in the quick optimization command section, there is two mostly used uh, console commands for optimization. So the overall scene shows you the stat unit of the scene and the RHI will be showing you the RHI of the console command. So up next, there's a group actors by tag feature and this feature group actors by their tags. And not unlike Unreal's grouping function, you do not need to find your group actor in the scene. You can just select the things that you want to group. For example, this cube. I can name it, let's say, group 01. And then I can add actor into the group. And then you can see cube 01 is shown. And if I have to press cube 01, it will select and focus the actor. So this is useful for grouping the assets that you want in Unreal quickly. For example, I want to group this section over here. So I just select all these assets. I'll name it table front. And then I press group actors by tag and then you create a new tag for the group actors. And then whenever I want to go back to the cube, I can go back to the cube and when I go back to the table front, it goes to the table front. And you can remove the group anytime you want over here. So you can see the group is gone. This group tag is also stored in the data asset in the plugins folder. So if you were to close and restart your Unreal Engine, the group tag is still here. Up next, there's the UV map. And this UV map section draws out the UVs of your mesh over here. So generally, your UVs, when you export it out from the DCC software, is, is stored in the UV channel one. And you can enlarge by clicking the image over here. So this is a very easy way to see your UVs, especially for stuff like your mannequins for example so if I were to put in the menu over here I can just view my UVs over here up next is the editor utilities section there is two features over here that will help you in your level design so first is the isolate selected actors feature. So if I click this, it will isolate actors that is not being selected. And if I click again, it will review back the stuff. And ghost mode is like a transparency mode of the isolate selected actors feature. So if I were to click ghost mode, you can see that the actors are now in wireframe. This is very helpful and useful when you want to put things behind an object. You can't really see them. So by doing so, you can just freely change the materials that has not been selected into something that's more transparent. 
Up next is the console commands. Nothing fancy over here, it's just very useful um, console commands that are generally used. For example, the hiding your directional lights, closing your post-processing, hiding translucent objects, and many more. Even the static meshes and your skeletal meshes. Up next is the organized outliner feature. As you can see, sometimes your outliner gets really messy. And this is just a very quick way to group things fast. Next is the delete empty folders feature. And this will delete empty folders that's within your content browser. If I were to click this, it will browse through the content for any empty folders. And second yes, and if you see nothing popping out means there's no empty folders. And let's create an empty folder here to test. Right now there's a new empty folder. If I were to press delete empty folders, and then they'll say deleted um, empty folders found. You can press yes or no. Pressing yes will delete the empty folder. Next is your prefixes batch rename feature, and in this feature you can Select the actors you want to rename and you'll add a predefined prefix on top of your assets. Traditionally, you would have to rename it one by one, but this makes it easy. And you know the annoying material instance names when you create. Usually we want MI instead of INST in the back, so it also fixes issues like this. So this is an easy way to have prefix for your assets and your developers can use the prefixes to add them to the script. Okay, next is the delete unused assets feature and this will scan through your whole library of content, not including your developers folder or your plugins or anything outside of the content folder. So you can also add in excluded folders inside but I'll show you without adding it in first. So they'll give you a warning stating that it'll take some time if your project is very big. Pressing OK, we'll proceed. Okay, as you can see, Unreal has detected many unused assets in here. So these are detected by the references of your assets. If you were to go to your reference viewer, if nothing is being referenced to this, then this will be showing up in the list earlier. So sometimes if you have stuff that is spawned during runtime, they might have not have a reference to that, so beware. And if I were to add in excluded folders such as the bazaar. And then I add in like a level prototyping folder. So this is case sensitive and make sure your folder is correct. Add in the MS presets. So let's say these are the folders that want to be excluded. I can click here, press OK, and you can see the list is smaller now because it's not detecting these folders. And that's it for the showcase. I hope you um, could provide some feedback to my plugin and if there's any additional features that you hope to have in the future, do let me know in my email and yeah, happy Unreal.